Welcome friends, this is an unboxing video of uh, an intervalometer from uh, Audelin. I'll be mainly using this intervalometer for uh, my astrophotography and star trail photography as well. I'm trying something new over here uh, for unboxing uh, in terms of visual effects. So if something goes wrong, uh, excuse me for that. So you have uh, the intervalometer itself, the larger unit, and the smaller one is the wireless receiver. And you can also use the intervalometer as a wired remote if you desire so. Let's put the AAA batteries, two numbers. You would need four AAA batteries, two for the intervalometer, two for the wireless receiver. Let's power it on. I'll do some quick setting and uh, we'll speed up the video. In the later part of the video, I will go through the settings in detail. It comes with two sets of cable. One for the older ones, uh, which are with 2.5 mm jack and with the newer ones. I believe some of the newer generation Canon and Nikon models uh, will be compatible. Let's first test the intervalometer as a wired remote. Let's hook it up to my Canon 600D. This button, you can pretty much use it same as the shutter release button on the camera body. It does the same function, manual operation. Let's hook it up to the wireless receiver. Right now, the camera is in uh, manual focus. Otherwise, if it is in autofocus, the wireless receiver LED would glow green when the focus is achieved. Let's go through the settings in detail. The small bar on the top of the LED line indicates which option you are at. S is the shutter mode, C is the continuous mode, B is the bulb mode for manual control, 2 seconds is a 2 second timer. For astrophotographers like me, the programmable timer function is the most helpful one. The bigger digit separated by colon, first is hour, then minutes, then seconds, and then fraction of seconds. Things to note here, this delay is the initial delay after which the program will be executed. This is not the delay between two consecutive shutter releases. Right now, the initial delay is set at 2.5 seconds. Long is actually the exposure time. Right now, it is like 1 minute 20 seconds. Right now, it's... The interval is the delay between two consecutive exposures. 10 seconds. Fifteen seconds. N is the number of exposures you want the program to take. It can be set from one to one hundred and ninety-nine. However, there is an infinity mode, but in that case, you have to stop it manually. Let's execute this program and see how the camera behaves. A few moments later. 
Life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job so the program has executed successfully. Let's start with uh, one drawback that I have found related to the wireless receiver. Once the receiver is mounted on the camera and if you are trying to use a flash mode for uh, daytime time-lapse photography, then there is a chance that the flash will foul and it may not open properly. This can, however, be easily avoided either by hanging the wireless receiver or by directly using the intervalometer. I did some rigorous testing of this device and I'm very happy to say it works flawlessly. I will, however, have to do a long-term review later. I'm also planning to compare this against my DIY intervalometer that I created using Arduino Nano. The link of that video is here. If you like the video and love to see similar videos in future, do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.